Hello everyone, my name is Mayur Gohil. Welcome to the lecture series of Laplace Transforms. Today we would be discussing some special functions. Here is one of the special function that is Heaviside function. This function is also known as unit step function and it is defined as h of t minus a equal to 0 when t is less a and it is 1 when t is greater equal a. We will be finding the Laplace of Heaviside function by definition. Let us see how. By definition we will have integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st h of t minus a dt. Observe here that the limits are from 0 to infinity. Also observe that our definition the function is divided over two parts first is for t less than a the value is 0 and t greater equal a value is 1 so if we consider the real number line and if we plug up a and 0 to real number line what do we have that on the positive part of the real number line a would lie because our interval is from 0 to infinity and if a is a positive number it would lie in between 0 and infinity. Also if we now see this interval 0 to infinity it can be considered as an interval 0 to a and then a to infinity. So in order to solve for the Laplace of Heaviside function we will have to split up this integral into two parts one is from 0 to a and other one is from a to infinity. In 0 to a, the value of the function would be 0. So here is that 0 and value of the function for the interval a to infinity would be 1. So this one pops up over here. Now we further simplify on integration and solve. We get the answer as e to the power minus a s divided by s. Thus, we obtain here Laplace of Heaviside function is e to the power minus a s divided by s. You can register this formula in your formula list and can refer whenever needed. Let us see one important result related to Heaviside function. Suppose the function has been broken up into these many steps over the interval 0 to a, a to b, b to c and then c to infinity. What would we do is using Heaviside function we can express this entire function as f1 of t times h of t plus f2 minus f1 of um, you have a multiplication here h of t minus a. This a is the lower limit of the interval here okay then f3 minus f2 times h of t minus b similarly then you add with f4 minus f3 times h of t minus c okay so if you want to try your hands with what is this result talking about you can try this example you will get cosine t times h of t plus f2 minus f1 right so it would be cosine 2 t minus cosine t times h of t minus pi then last would be added with cosine 3 t minus cosine 2 t times h of 2 uh, t minus 2 pi that would be the final answer and that is what you get okay so this is what is the final answer so on solving this you'll get that okay now I am moving to a new function known as Dirac Delta function okay it is also known as unit impulse function let us see the definition it is defined in this manner Delta T minus A is equals to limit of f epsilon of, of t minus a epsilon tending to 0 epsilon is here is in suffix so 
what is this f epsilon function let us see this function is for it is 0 for t less than a it is 1 by epsilon for the value of t lying between a and a plus epsilon it is 0 whenever t is greater than a plus epsilon okay now what is this epsilon quantity this epsilon quantity is very small now if it is very small it would be 1 by epsilon would give you a very large number so that is this function okay and let us take some results without proof regarding Dirac delta function I am giving you this results Dirac delta function is nothing but the derivative of Heaviside function if you try to find the Laplace of delta t minus a, you will get e to the power minus a s. You can register this formula for Laplace of delta t minus a in the formula list. As well, we have Laplace of delta of t is equals to 1. Okay. And Laplace of f of t times delta t minus a is equals to e to the power minus a s f of a. This means the function is evaluated at a. Okay. Now let us see some other functions. We have already seen functions like heavy side function. Also we have seen functions like Dirac delta function and now we are going to see two new functions known as error function and error complementary function okay so now having understood the above two functions error function and error complementary function they are slightly different than these two try to understand their definitions and try to digest them slowly so error function it is denoted by this erf of t which is equal to 2 upon root pi integral 0 to t e to the power minus u square du okay so this definition is quite new it will appear slightly different than the regular definitions of any particular function but you have to understand this function carefully and then you have another complementary version of this function is e error function complementary of for complementary you attach a suffix over here c and it is defined as 1 minus error function of t okay so observe this definition generally what we will encounter here is error function of root t when we will have root over here the upper limit of the integral will change to root t okay so observe these functions carefully try to understand them and then we shall derive certain other results in the next video lecture till then thank you